program in which a player with luck can win up to one million dollars. This is the program of knowledge, luck, and daring. This is Bullseye. Someone can win one million dollars in cash. And rather than keep you in suspense, let's find out if it will happen today. Jay Stewart, will you please introduce our first two players? Our returning champion with thirteen thousand dollars is a customer service representative whose interests are reading and skiing. She's Gail Mackey. Her opponent is a bartender who hopes to succeed as a writer. He's worked as an oyster diver and a photographer. He is Scott Wyant. Welcome to Bullseye, Scott and Gail. Welcome. Gail, you're, you're the doggone tree. Do you have any boyfriends? Oh, I have a couple. Oh, oh, do they know about each other? Well, I guess they do now. <laughs> you call me Big Mouth Jim Lang. I'm sorry. Uh, Scott, you're a bartender, huh? Yes. Do you enjoy tending bar? Yeah, I've enjoyed it quite a bit. I've found I've learned quite a bit since I started doing the job. Such as what? Well, I found out that uh, oftentimes people come to a bar because they might be a little bit lonely and they're, they're reluctant to talk to their friends about it and they prefer to talk to a stranger like a bartender. Uh, wh well, what does a bartender do to get rid of his problems then, huh? Bullseye. Ah, money. all right. Good idea. Okay, we're ready to help you with your problems and we will be back no. to play Bullseye in just one minute. Don't go away. Welcome back to Bullseye, and now on to our game. You accumulate money by answering questions, and the first player who can bank $1,000 or more wins the game and goes on to play the bonus game, which can actually pay up to $1 million in cash. Now, the categories you're going to be playing with are behind those two top windows over there. In the left-hand one, the categories in this game are nursery rhymes, anatomy, world cities, and numbers. In the right-hand window, the categories are mixed drinks, astronomy, actors, and faces, which is a visual category. The window below has numbers which will decide the number of questions that you're contracting to answer. If you hit the bullseye there, though, you can go for as many questions as you want to. All right, let's spin the board and let them go up there. There they go, and now let's cover them up. You're going to bring it to a stop by hitting that button in front of you, players, so you really decide your own fate. And, Scott, you're the challenger, so you go first. Hit the button, and let's see what you get. Numbers for $100 a question, actors for $150 a question, and you must answer three questions. That's the contract. Three questions must be answered in either one of those two categories. And, Scott, you choose them. Actors for 150 Actors for 150 All right, the contract is for three questions in actors. Each question worth $150 for a total of $450, which you can collect after all of the questions have been answered. Here we go. Here's your first question. The comedy series Barney Miller takes place in a police station. Name the actor who portrays Barney Miller. I don't know this one. Um, Hal Needham? No, that's not correct. You missed the question. Control goes over to you, Gail. All right, Gail, here is the first question of this contract. You know the name of the actor who portrays Barney Miller. Hal Linden. Hal Linden is correct. All right, let's put $150 in the pot. $150 in the pot. And to complete the contract, now there are two more questions remaining, Gail. In nine movies, including Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, she shared star billing with Spencer Tracy. Can you name her? Catherine Hepburn. That's correct, Catherine Hepburn. All right, let's put another $150 in the pot. We have $300 in the pot. Now, one more question must be answered to complete your contract. Good luck. Here it is. He was Captain Bly in Mutiny on the Bounty and Quasimodo in The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Can you name him for the contract? Charles Lawton. You're right, Charles Lawton. Contract completed. All right, let's put another $150 in the pot. 450 in there. Now, Gail, you completed the contract. You have a decision to make. You can claim that $450 in the pot and put it in your bank, and then it's yours to keep. But if you do bank it, control goes back over to Scott. Uh, you can decide to keep playing if you want and keep adding to the pot on your way to $1,000. What do you want to do? I'm going to bank this for the moment. You're going to bank it. All right, we'll transfer your money from the pot into the bank, and that's yours to keep. 
And Scott can't get his hands on it, but control now goes over to you, Scott. Okay. All right, good luck. Let's spin the board. Spin the board around and around she goes. Let's cover them up, and when you're ready, Scott, you may hit that button. See what you got. Nursery rhymes for $150 a question. Mixed drinks for $100 a question. And you must answer four questions. Your contract is four questions. All right, which one of those categories do you prefer, Scott? I'm going to have to go with mixed drinks. Mixed you know, drinks. drinks. All right, mixed drinks should be right down your alley. Here we go with the first question. What is the mixing ingredient known by the name Angostura? It's a type of bitters. Bitters is correct, and you got it. You got the first one. Let's put $100 in that pot. You're on your way. Three more questions to go in this contract. What wine is mixed in a black velvet? What wine is mixed What in wine is mixed in Champagne. a black... Champagne. Champagne is right. You got it. You know your drink. All right, put another $100 in the pot. $200 in the pot. Two more questions must be answered to complete this contract. An alcoholic beverage whose name means little water is the national drink of Russia. Can you name that spirit? Well, it must be vodka. It's vodka. <laughs> You're right. Put another $100 in the pot. You've got $300 in there. One question away. If you answer this question, you will have completed your contract. Right. Here it is on mixed drinks. What is the strong alcoholic ingredient in a planter's punch? This is for the contract. Rum. Rum it is, and you got it. All right. Put another hundred dollars in the pot. You have four hundred dollars in the pot. Now, Scott, you did very well at your decision now. You're going to take that four hundred dollars in the pot and put it in the bank. If you do, it's yours to keep, but you give up control, or will you keep on playing? Now, what do you want to do? I don't know. Four hundred dollars is a, is a plane trip to Rome, so I think I'm going to put it in my pocket and... Uh, All right, you're going to bank the money. I will transfer your money from the pot into your bank. At the moment, Scott, you have $400. Gail, you have $450. Control goes back to Gail. And let's spin that board one more time. And Gail, you're in control now. Cover them up. We cover them up, Gail. Anytime you're ready, hit your button. See what you get. You've got anatomy for $100 a question. You've got mixed drinks. There it is again, $150 a question. Up all that! You can answer as many questions as you want, Gail, but you can stop when you want also. All right, which category do you think you do best in? Anatomy for $100 a question, mixed drinks for $150 a question. I'll stay with anatomy for 100 Anatomy for $100 a question. All right, remember, this is the bullseye, so I'll ask you each time if you want to go on. Here's your first question. What is the general name for the thin-walled blood vessels which carry blood back to the heart? Back to the heart? Back to the heart, yes. The Baines. general name. Baines is correct. You got it. All right. Let's put $100 in the pot there. $100 in the pot. You've answered one question. You want to go for your next one? You can. Or do you want to bank that 100 I'll go on. You're going to continue on. All right. You've got a lot of confidence. Here's your next question. This organ of the body contains the hammer, the anvil, and the stirrup bones. Can you name it? The ear. The ear is right. Another $100 in the pot. $200 in the pot. You've answered two questions. Now, do you want to bank it or go on? I'll keep going. You're rolling now. All right, here is your third question. What is the medical term for the thick-walled blood vessels that carry the blood away from the heart? The aorta? No. Um... No, I, I'm sorry. I have to take that. It's not correct. It's not the aorta. And that means, Scott, you have a chance to answer that question. The control goes over to Scott. All right, Scott, once again, I'll repeat the question. What is the medical term for the thick-walled blood vessels that carry the blood away from the heart? Those are called arteries. Arteries is right! $300 in there. $300 in there. And Scott, I'll tell you, with the $400 you've got and the $300 in the pot, that's $700. You're $300 away from the game. Now, you have to make this decision. You want to bank that $300 or do you want to continue playing? I'm going to have to keep going. All right, bullseye up. Myself. All right, you can keep going. Give it a try. Here we go. Again, the category is still anatomy. What do we call the tough cords of white tissue that connect muscles with other parts of the body? Tendons. That's right, yeah. tendons, you got it. All right, let's put another $100 in the pot, $400. With your $400, you're two questions away from winning the game. However, you can bank that if you want. If you're the two tempting, you two tempting. I only have two more to go. I'm gonna you're going to roll it on. All right, here we go with the next question. There are only two away. This is anatomy. You have 12 pairs of these bones that assist with breathing. Can you name them? Um, uh, vertebra. No, I'm sorry. You missed the question. Oh, well, ping pong oh. control goes back to you, Gail. All right, Gail. Here we go with this question. 
If you can answer it, you're in control. You have 12 pairs of these bones that assist in breathing. Can you name them? The ribs. You're right, the ribs. You are $50 away from winning this game. Answer this question if you want to and win the game, or you can bank the 500 and it'll be yours to keep. What do you want to do? I'll take the last question. You're going to give it a try. All right, going for the game. This is the question. This important digestive organ, which is located in the upper left side of the abdomen, is shaped like the letter J for the game. Can you name it? The stomach? The stomach is right! You got it! Congratulations, $100 in the pot, $600. We bank that with Gail. Gets her $1,050. Congratulations, Gail. You did a great job. Well, I'll tell you, Scott, you did a mighty fine job, and you got that trip to Rome. I guess you said that would be the plane fare, and we enjoyed having you on the show. The $400, of course, is yours to keep. Thank you for playing bullseye. Thank you very enjoyed much. it very, very much. And Gail, you won $13,000 yesterday. You're our descending champion. You won another $1,050. And we'll play our bonus round in just a moment. We'll be right back after these words. Welcome back to Bullseye. Well, Gail, you have won $14,050 in all your previous trips to this spot. And now it's time for that bonus game again, which can win you a lot of money. With lots of luck, you might even be able to win up to $1 million. Now, that's a lot of money. The money you've already won is yours to keep, of course. No one can take it from you. But in addition, you now have a chance to double and double and redouble that $1,050 that you won in the regular game. Now, behind you are three windows. In there are bullseyes and bolts of lightning. And every time you stop the spinning and three bullseyes show up, we will double your money from 1,050 to 2,100 to 4,200 to 8,400 to 16,800, maybe even to a million dollars. But you can stop whenever you want because if you're struck by lightning, then you lose the money. All right? Now, the number of times that you can double will be decided by the numbers appearing at random right here in this contract window. It'll be three times, four times, five times, or the bullseye. Bullseye comes up, and if you wish to, you can go on and on and on until you reach one million dollars. Now, let's find out what your contract is, how many turns you get. I will press the button here to start it, and you press that button over there to decide your fate. Are you ready? Look away. If you want, up to a million dollars. We start, of course, with what you won in the game, $1,050. So the first time you stop the board will be for $2,100. Are you ready? Yes, I'm right, ready. Come on, right over here, then. For $2,100. Let's spin the board. There she goes. Okay. Dale, anytime you're ready for $2,100, hit the button. You've got a bullseye. A bullseye. Spin the board for $4,200, Gail. When you're ready, hit that button. Bullseye. Bullseye. Bullseye! You got it! All right! $4,200! You have $4,200, and now you have another decision. You can keep rolling if you want. If you feel lucky, try for $8,400. Now, quiet, please. What are you going to do? I'll try one more time. One more time. All right. You feel like you lost the whole lot. Remember, you got to remember this now, though. If you strike lightning, you lose it all. Still want to go? Yeah, I'll go. She's going to go. All right. All right. Let's spin the board. For $8,400, Gail, hit that button. Bullseye. Bullseye. Please, please, please let her think. 
just a moment. It's a very important decision. There's a lot of money. It's for $16,800. Gail, do you want to take the $8,400 or do you want to try one more time? I think I love. We already have $14,000, you know. I think I love. I think I love. I think I love. I think I, I think I love. Well, maybe I'll try one more time. Yeah. For you. I really do. This is for $16,800. Let's spin the board. Gail, for $16,800. Get that button when you're in. Bullseye. Bullseye. You're going to go try for 33,000. That's my unlucky number. I will stop that. You're going to stop. All right. Well, I'll tell you, Gail, I don't know if it's wise or not, but you certainly have made a lot of money. As a matter of fact, with your previous winnings, you have a grand total of $30,850. Not only that, but you'll be back in a moment to meet another challenger and try for more. We'll be right back with a brand new game of Bullseye after these good words. God bless you. back to Bullseye, and Gail, you've won $30,850. You're our champion. Are you ready to meet a challenger? Yes, I'm ready. All right, Jay Stewart, who will it be? He's a salesman who's interested in jazz, reading, and golf, Jim. He's Key Takahashi. <laughs> Welcome to Bullseye, Key. Hi, Jim. Good luck to you. Yeah, I heard Jay say something about reading. What kind of reading do you prefer? I like nonfiction, anything that's real. What kind of girls do you prefer, Keith? Huh? Like the same thing, anything that's real. <laughs> uh, but I just got married. Well, listen, I got my own problems. I can't help you there. Good luck anyway on the game. And here are the categories we'll be playing for in this game. On the left-hand window, we have fairy tales, art, geography, and animals. On the right-hand window, we have want ads, chemistry, potluck picks, that's a visual category, and movies. All right, Key, you are in control. You're the challenger, so you begin. Let's switch that board all around, spin the board. There she goes, and we'll cover it up. And when you're ready, Key, just push that button and see what you get. Okay, here we go. All right, there we go. You've got animals for $100 a question. One asks for $150 a question, and you must answer three questions. All right, your contract is for three questions. Three questions at $150 or $100 each. Which one do you prefer, animals or want ads, Keith? Want ads sounds awfully good, but I'm going to go with animals for $100. You like the animals. All right, animals for $100 a question. And the contract is for three questions. Here's your first question. Dromedary and Bactrian are two types of this animal. Name it. Dromedary and Bactrian are two types of this animal. Name it. Camels? Camels, right. All right, now we're on the way. Put $100 in the pot. In the pot, and you have two more questions to complete the contract. Here's your next one. This native Australian animal can hop at 40 miles per hour and leap heights of six feet. Can you name that animal? Kangaroo. You're right, a kangaroo. Put another hundred dollars in the pot. We have two hundred dollars in the pot, and we have one more question to complete the contract. This will complete the contract for you, Key. This huge animal has a gestation period of 645 days, longest of all animals. For the contract, can you name it? Hippopotamus. No, I'm sorry. You missed the question. Gail, what a break. Control goes over to you. All right, Gail, this is it. The contract will be completed if you can answer this question. Huge animal. Has a gestation period of 645 days. For the contract, can you name it? An elephant? There you go. An elephant. All right. Put $300 in the pot. The contract is completed. You did it. All right, the contract is completed. That's decision time now, Gail. You're going to have to decide whether you would like to transfer that $300 into your bank, and then it's yours to keep. But if you do, you give up control to keep. What will you do? I'll keep going. You're going to continue on. All right, you're our champion. Oh, I'm sorry, time is up. Time is up for today. Key, you don't have any money yet, but you have plenty of chance tomorrow. Gail, you have already won $30,850. 
We'll see you both tomorrow. Time's up for today's session of Bullseye. We'll be back tomorrow at the same time when once again we'll offer our players a real chance to win $1 million. I'm telling Mr. Jim Lang, hoping that all of your life is right on the bullseye. Bye.